Here we look at how first ionization energies change down a group. And we're going to state the trend in ionization energies down a group and we're going to explain the trend. And I've just chosen group two as my example, but what we're going to be discussing here would apply to any group in the periodic table. Now, whenever we're comparing ionization energies, we always have to ask ourselves the question, where is the electron in question being removed from? So let's write down the electronic configuration of beryllium, which is 1s2, 2s2. And we'll keep going. And strontium, that's the last one I'm going to write the full electronic configuration for. And we should really be able to write the electronic configuration of strontium. And I'm not going to go on to barium. I'm not going to do the full one for barium, but that would be using shorthand Xe6s2. And radium will be Rn7s2. Now, where is this first? We're looking at first ionization energies. Where is the first electron in each uh, element being removed from? I'm going to highlight the sublevel. Obviously, it's going to be removed from the highest energy sublevel. So the question is, is we've got to state and explain the trend in first ionization energies down in the group two, or it would be the same for any group. So I would say, as you go down group two, the electron Is removed from a successively higher energy principal energy level. So what do I mean by that? Well, we can have a look at what I've highlighted there in yellow. As we go down group two, the electron be removed from a successively higher energy principal energy level. Remember, principal energy levels are the numbers. So we're going two for the beryllium, the third principal energy level for magnesium, the fourth in calcium, the fifth in strontium, the sixth in barium, and the seventh in radium. So as you go down group two, the electrons are removed from a successively higher energy principal energy level. That means on average, the electron removed is much further, well, is further from the nucleus. Therefore, it's easier to remove. There is also more shielding. So as you go down the group, the electron removed is more shielded by the inner shells. So the shielding, I'm going to highlight in green. So these 2s electrons are shielded by the 1s sublevel. The 3s electron is shielded by these, and you can see the shielding is increasing. All these electrons in the sublevels I've highlighted in green are shielding the attraction of the nucleus for the electrons in the sublevel highlighted there in yellow. And the more shielding you've got, so you can see this has got much more shielding, the more shielding you've got compared to, say, this one and this one and this one, the more shielding you've got, the less that nucleus is going to be attracted to this outer electron, the easier it's going to be to remove. So therefore, because of what we stated there, therefore, first ionization energy decreases down a group that is the electron is easier to remove the higher the energy of the electron being removed the easier it is to remove and that there 
is the trends in first ionization energies down any group, but I've just used group two there as my example. As you go down group two, the electrons are removed from a successively higher energy principal energy level, principal energy level being the number. And also there's more shielding, which I've highlighted there in green. And as such, the first ionization energy would decrease down the group. That is the electron becomes easier to remove.